All right, so we're going to be creating a new swept envelope vehicle here. And to lay out the shapes and points there properly, I always have to look at the help on the new on the new vehicle command there. So I'm going to hit help, and it tells us down at the bottom that the front to back needs to be running north and south, so along the y-axis there. Um, and then e west to east is going to be left to right along the x-axis. And then the height is going to be along the z um, and then it tells us when we go to select our shape in the swept envelope command, we need to select it from front to middle to rear, rear there. Um, and it gives us a picture along there. So I have it laid out like that. I'm going to create a new vehicle here called New Vehicle. And for the front articulation point, I'm going to select that, go in graphics and select the point that I created there. Um, this one, I believe, is about 12 meters uh, from the center there. I'm going to accept it and reset. I'm going to select the front bogey. Select, accept, and reset. My rear bogey is going to be about 8 meters back here. Accept and reset. And then my rear articulation is about 12 meters to the rear. Accept and reset. Make sure I got that right. Accept and reset. Okay, and my shapes, I'm going to choose from front to back. That'll be here in the most northern shape. Accept it. Then the middle, accept, and the rear, and accept. And when I'm done there, I'm going to hit apply. My vehicle gets created in the XML file that I um, specified back here on the first tab. And if I go, I see it in my list now, new vehicle. And I should see three sections there, and I do. That's good. And I always like to look at uh, what actually what gets created in the XML. I'm going to go to that file that I specified, and I'm just going to open that up real quick in an XML editor uh, just to look at it. The format, the format's not too hard to understand. Um, we'll go down to the bottom where the new vehicle. Um, gets created and we can see that front articulation point was 12 meters on that y-axis then my two bogies at 8 meters then my rear uh, articulation at 12 and then you see it created my three sections there um, I guess if I, c if I wanted to I could come in and, and change the name on the section there um, but I can also do that back in the um, back in the editor so I can see it got created my dimensions look good it imported three shapes like I told it to um, so we'll exit that and um, now that it's in our library, we'll hit apply and close, and we'll switch over to a DGN real quick and just run that along a track alignment that I have. Um, and we'll come in here, we'll delete where we've run it before so we can see. And we'll go to tool sweat path analysis. We're going to choose our new vehicle. And we'll tell it, just place it along a 10 meter interval along this alignment, which is the center line. Um, that center line has can't already applied on it right there. So when we hit apply, um, it'll create it, it creates it right now using the active uh, colors in MicroStation. So we'll change that to yellow so we can see it. And um, let's rotate a view so we can see what it did there. So there it's placed the shape that we imported. It's got our front, middle, and, and rear of the shape, and it's placing it along the alignment. If we go back to a front view, I'm sorry, a top view, we can see here in a tangent we have um, you know the shapes that were imported. If we look at the edge here, we just we have four lines here in the middle and then a left and a right. If we come down to where a curve is, we can see that since the um, since the uh, since the vehicle is rotating along that curve, it you know it's got all of our it's got all of our uh, lines drawn there. And if we rotate it up there, we can see that it's you know it's building each of those three sections around the curve. So we're getting um, we're getting the shapes that we need for the sweat sweat path.